edition of my scooter moto vlog. Today we're going to talk about Comalero Park, which is uh, close to my house, and scooter camping. Comalero Park has a uh, campground, and scootering is uh, scooter camping is one of the things that uh, I had wanted to do uh, since I've got my scooter. Uh, the park consists of about uh, 2,000 acres of land with a 900 acre lake on it. Uh, they have about a 10 horsepower limit on the uh, engines for their boats on the lake. Uh, the campground, which we're driving into now, consists of about 125 campsites and anything from electrical to tent camping to uh, drive throughs to you name it, whatever. So, um, like I said, scooter camping is something that uh, I've been wanting to do. Uh, I learned about it, I think, about a month after I got my scooter this March. And uh, I thought, wow, I love to uh, camp, and I like this scootering quite a bit. Maybe we can combine the two and uh, do something that uh, is fun that includes both two things that I like. So, um, if you've been scooter camping before, uh, post up some ideas for me so I can uh, get a better idea of how to do it. I have not scooter camped yet, but uh, the first place that I'm going to go is probably this uh, lake and recreation area here that's near my house because one, it is close to the house and I, uh, if I have an emergency I can get back to the house pretty quick. I'm not going to be a hundred miles away from my home and uh, have a problem with my scooter. I can call my spouse and say, hey, uh, scooter won't start or whatever, and, and I can get back to uh, get back to the house pretty easy so well okay so here we are we're at the park and I'm just pretty much or at the campground anyway we're pretty much just gonna take you through uh, the area and just kind of show you around I drove through the whole campground here and uh, these are all the electrical sites and we'll come up to uh, later on we'll come up to uh, like tent camping sites and, and walk back sites and stuff like that so uh, but here we are, uh, this was filmed a little earlier in the year, but uh, it's late October and I have yet to go scooter camping, so it's probably not going to happen this year. So we'll have to uh, gear up for, uh, for 2015 being the uh, first time I go scooter camping. When I go camping, uh, I like to take a lot of gear. Normally, uh, we'll take the family or go with friends or whatever, and we'll uh, take four people in the uh, family minivan, and the rest of the van is completely jam-packed full of uh, my huge tent, uh, a food box, uh, lanterns, you name it. There's all kinds of stuff that, uh, that I can uh, camp, uh, pack for camping because... Uh, my son was in the Boy Scouts and they, they taught me how to camp and they're like, oh, you know, camping doesn't have to be a bad thing. You just have to have a lot of room to pack all your shit. <laughs> because the way I camp, uh, you got to have a lot of stuff to, uh, to take with you. So you're prepared like a Boy Scout. So um, let me see. Well, scooter camping is uh, then on the exact opposite end of that. Uh, it's very minimalistic uh, from my understanding and a lot of people say that uh, look up back backpack camping and uh, that'll give you an idea of the kind of things that uh, you can take with you and uh, see what to use you know like uh, meals for one thing. Uh, I like big meals when I go camping. I'll cook up four and five course meals uh, for the family and and do them on a camp stove and over the fire and all kinds of things to to brew up some sort of a a, a good meal that uh, is really satisfying for uh, for an outdoor meal. So, uh, scooter camping on the other end, I think, is going to be more like beanie weenies or something like that, or maybe some sort of canned dinty more stew or something like that. So, we'll have to. Uh, if you got any ideas on food and and how to uh, prepare for that. I think some people have done clip bars or energy protein type bars, stuff like that. And, uh, well, 
let's just say I'm a big boy, so uh, I like <laughs> I like my food. Uh, I'll have to shrink my stomach a little if I'm only going to be eating a Cliff Bar. So um, the other thing about camping that I love is having a fire at night. And if you're usually I can haul in wood, or I suppose at most campgrounds maybe you can buy firewood, but I'm kind of the on the cheap end of the stick and would rather uh, bring my own wood. I know that it's it's kept in a in a city area and it's not uh, full of bugs and stuff like that. So and and normally like with this campground here, I'm not going to be hauling any bugs into uh, into this campground that aren't already here because it's only a few miles away from my house. So, but um, I did find something on YouTube about a single log fire that uh, you can create with a uh, single log and so hauling just two logs may be uh, something that may be feasible to uh, have a fire at night and still be able to keep that. Uh, of course I'll have to take a uh, small tent uh, rather than my large like uh, 12 by 14 tent. Um, beer when I go camping I like to have some beer uh, I don't know about you I'm you know usually pretty discreet about it I'm not uh, you know hanging out there drinking and yelling hey I got beer or whatever but uh, I suppose I'll have to switch to uh, hard liquor uh, give me a bottle of hard liquor that'll uh, take up a lot less room and, and uh, I'll still be able to uh, have a little bit of liquor enjoyment there on my camping weekend uh, the other thing is, is I usually go camping with friends, um, or with my family, of course, but, uh, on a scooter, I've got a 150cc, uh, Kimco Super 8 scooter, so, uh, I'm not going to be taking a bunch of people on, uh, my camp out with me, so, uh, I'm going to be going by myself, so that's going to be something different that, uh, that I'll have to deal with, and we'll, uh, have to probably find more activities to do such as reading or or hiking or uh, I'm gonna listen to my podcast or something like that so uh, once again uh, if you've got any ideas for uh, scooter camping uh, leave them in the comment section below and don't forget if you like this video don't forget to click the like button at the bottom it will induce more videos <laughs> like this <laughs> whether you want to see them or not uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this mode of vlogging is something that uh, I kind of wanted to do that's another one of the things besides scooter camping that I thought of right away that uh, hey maybe I want to do this so uh, this is my fourth adventure into it uh, hopefully uh, they'll get better as I go along and uh, last but not least subscribe if you're new like this video and go Tigers